This After Effects tutorial is sponsored by Skillshare.com. Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from DopeMotions.com, and in today's After Effects tutorial, we will create three different background animations inside of After Effects, and that too without using any plugins. It's gonna be a super fun tutorial. So many different techniques to cover. So without any further ado, let's jump into the After Effects and get started. If you're watching my video for the very first time, make sure you subscribe to the channel and you can also follow me on Instagram at dope.motions. The link is in the description below. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. Let's call this BG underscore 01. This is going to be our background number one with width and height of 1920 by 1080, frame rate at 30 FPS and 10 seconds long. Hit OK. Let's hit Control Y to create a new solid called this um, BG. You can call it whatever that you want. And then I'm going to go into effects and preset and let's add a quick fill on this so we can add some color to this black dark background. So I'll go with something like a nice um, darkish blue color, which looks nice, something like that. Then let's duplicate this, hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. Let's go with a nice orange color to create a nice contrast on this. Okay, so that is looking good. Hit OK. Then go into effects and presets again and search for an effect called Venetian blinds, which is a very interesting look, which is a very useful effect to create this kind of animation. So I'm going to set the transition completion to 50%. So we get these kind of lines basically, and let's change the direction to 90 and increase the width to around, let's do it something like 80. So that looks pretty good. Let's create a new adjustment layer on this. We can call this wave as we will be using the epic wave warp effect search for wave warp double click to apply this up and then let's play around with a few settings first of all let's increase the wave height to something like this looks good let's increase the wave width as well so i'm gonna make it really intense so i'll go with something like uh, let's go with 350 looks good and as you can see the corners are um, not perfect so to fix this i'm going to change the pinning from none to all edges so we get this really nice edges and uh, yeah it looks pretty cool in itself so now i can play around with number of different things i can play around with the face i can play around with the direction so i can you know rotate it like so and get a really cool look Basically, playing around with the directions will help us to achieve a really interesting look for this animation. But for this particular background, I'm going to set this to 90 and we get a really, I can bring down the wave speed to 0.5 and this is going to look much better. And there you have your first background animation ready. It looks super cool. Again, you can play around with the directions. I can, you know, change this to a different direction and uh, create kind of a wavy flag effect, which looks cool in itself as well. So now let's create our background number two. So I'm going to create a new composition called this PG underscore O2. Hit OK. Let's hit Control Y to create a new solid. I'm going to call this, uh, let's call this layer underscore O1. All right. Go into fix and preset, search for fill. So we can add some color to this layer basically. And I'm going to go with a nice uh, kind of a purplish color, something like this. Maybe a darker tone. Okay. Then go into fix and preset, search for an effect called a radial wipe there you there you go i can just simply double click to apply that up and let's change the transition completion to something like 90. we can change the angle so that it's something like this kind of an arrow and i can just simply move this at the bottom and then i'm going to go into effects and presets search for turbulent displace double click to apply that up let's increase the turbulence displace amount to somewhere around 85 and we can increase the size as well to achieve a really nice look something like that and then we can animate the evolution as well as the offset of this turbulence so to do that 
I'm going to hold Alt and click on the stopwatch of the evolution. Add a simple expression called time times. Um, let's go with 20. So right off the bat, we get a really nice and simple movement, but we can also animate the offset turbulence. So I'm going to create a keyframe. You know, I can go to 10 second and let's move this like so. So throughout the uh, timeline, we have a very nice, simple, elegant movement of the shape which looks super cool. Now if I want, I can increase the size of the shape. So I can bring that down a little bit maybe. Uh, let's go with something like 88 and also rotate this so that it's properly aligned in the center. Then I can duplicate this, hit Control D to duplicate it. Change the color to something like a nice contrasty blue. And then simply rotate it. And then we get this really nice look. I'll set this to 90 and adjust this accordingly. Then I can select this layer, hit Control D, put this right here and then rotate it. We can even change the layer color to purple and this one as well to purple and this one to blue. So that uh, basically it makes much more sense now and it's easy to visualize. So let's select the blue one again, hit Control D, put this on the top and let's uh, rotate the radial wipe just like so and finally duplicate this one hit ctrl d put this at the top and rotate it like so so now we get this really interesting background animation you can add your text you can add whatever that you want and you have a very nice and sleek looking background if you want you can actually make them very small like i can adjust the um uh, what do you call it the transition completion make it really small and create more duplicates basically i can hit ctrl d to duplicate it and you know change the rotation like so and get a really interesting look out of this pretty cool now let's jump to the third background animation before i proceed further with this tutorial let's take a look at today's sponsor skillshare skillshare is an online learning community for creatives where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey skillshare offers thousands of inspiring classes for creatives and curious people on topics including illustration design photography video freelancing and more Skillshare offers class designed for real life, so you can move your creative journey forward without putting life on hold. You can check out this animation course for motion design on Skillshare to learn more about motion graphics and animation. Skillshare is also incredibly affordable, especially when compared to pricey in-person classes and workshops. The first 1000 people who uses the link in my description will receive one month free trial of Skillshare Premium. So I'm going to create a new composition again called this BG underscore O3. Hit OK. And this is my most favorite out of these three. So let's start by hitting Control Y to create a new solid. Um, let's call this BG and I'll give it a white color. Hit OK. Let's hit Control uh, Y again to create a new solid and make this black. All right, put this at the back and then select this one. Go into fix and preset, search for venetial blinds again. Double click to apply. Set the transition completion to 50 and uh, let's set the direction to minus 45. And I can set the width to around maybe like 90 looks good. All right, let's uh, select this layer, move this a bit forward, hit control D and let's move the second layer just like so so that i can check whether it aligns properly and as you can see it doesn't look proper so i can use my arrow keys to actually adjust this so i can just move this like so and boom there we have a perfect combination then let's right click create a new null object pattern the, these two background layers to this null and we can select this null scale this up a little bit and then we can adjust the position of this. So I'm going to position this somewhere around there. Create a keyframe. Go to 10 seconds and move this to the left. And basically we have a very nice and simple movement. Maybe a bit more faster like so. All right. So that is what I am looking for. Now I can select everything. Hit Control Shift C. Call this pattern. Or you can call it whatever that you want. 
I'm going to hit OK. Then go into Fix and Preset and again search for Wave Warp. Double click to apply that up. Set the wave height to 90. And um, let's increase the wave width to somewhere around 700. Very intense. And let's set this to all edges. And basically, I'm going to animate the phase as well. So let's create a keyframe at the very start. Go all the way up to 10 seconds. And let's add a nice good rotation. So we have animation that looks like this, which is looking cool in itself. But now I'm going to create a new adjustment layer called this um, CC. And then go into Fix and Preset and search for CC Kaleidoscope, which is a super, super cool effect. If I double click, and apply that and right off the bat you can see we get a super cool background and the best part about this effect is you can create unlimited number of designs all you have to do is tweak the size and you get a different look so if i set this all the way up to something like 88 or maybe 100 or 150 it's gonna look cool so i'm gonna set this to 100 and i can also change the rotation which is gonna give us all in all a different look so you can play around with these settings and you know get a really cool background animation so let's actually set the rotation to 50 and then i'm gonna select the cc kaleidoscope basically and move this point holding shift to the top and this is my favorite look because we get this kind of a jellyfish wave kind of an effect and it looks pretty cool you can add your own colors to this and come up with a, a really nice pattern you can basically change the rotation and you know get a really nice look so these are the three background animation that i think look really cool and you can use it in your day-to-day -day motion graphics project so that is a wrap for today guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did make sure you hit that subscribe button like this video and do let me know in the comment section below which background animation is your favorite you can also follow me on instagram at dope.motions i have mentioned the links in the description below with that said i will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out